As Cuba repairs relations with the United States, some Cubans say it's important to remain vigilant. Now, former Cuban fighters, the men who participated in, in Fidel Castro's revolution, are saying that they do not trust the United States because history has simply taught them not to. Now, retired Colonel 75-year-old Roberto Marquez says that the road to improve relations between the countries will be an arduous and complicated one. This normalization process will be a long and complex one. There are very complex issues, such as the issue of the embargo. As long as the embargo exists, we can't talk about the normalization of relations. As long as Radio Marti and TV Marti exist, neither. While there are U.S. leaders that suggest that that tactic failed, but yet have not surrendered to their strategy, that's worrying for us. Perhaps some dreamers or others who are superficial think this will be the end of socialism. No, sir. And they think that with the demise of the historic generation, socialism in Cuba will be over. But it's not like that. They also thought that with Fidel setting himself aside from leading the country, it was going to fall apart. They packed their bags for that purpose. Fidel set himself aside from leading the country and Raul Castro has led for a few years now. In addition, the revolution has been preparing youngsters for this replay in history.